Hi everyone, welcome to my little studio. I thought I'd just show you my setup where I paint um, and then I'm going to talk to you about some features that I've had in Leisure Painter magazine over the last three years. So I like to have a plant, I've got a nice fig tree, a uh, fig, fig plant and as you can see I've got some fairy lights there and a few little jingly bells. The fabulous music that I like to paint to is uh, Royalty Free Music by Jason Shaw. It's acoustic, uh, instrumental music, and I find that really inspires me as I paint. So thank you to Jason Shaw for that, and there's a link in the little box on screen now if anyone wants to look at his work. Then I've got a nice north light uh, in the skylight, if I come back a little bit, which gives me light straight on to my painting area here. Plus I've got a daylight bulb as well, a full spectrum bulb actually, so that gives nice light onto my painting area. So they're, they're, these are the magazines that I've been featured in. What I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to leaf through them really slowly um, with Jason's music going. And if you're interested in, in having these magazines with my features in, there'll be a link to back issue page of Leisure Painter. Okay, so I'll just get these ready for us to look through now. And the first magazine was August 2015, you can see it there. And what I did for them in August 2015 was a poppy demo, watercolour poppies, just showing you how to build shapes and tones in quite a limited palette. Then, in September 2015, I did a Labrador dog for the magazine. Building from grey to darker and darker tones. And a bit of detail in the eye as well. Dog's eyes have so much character. Then, I can just put a board here to help the page stay open a bit more. In 2015, uh, October, I did a cat. <coughs> This is my friend Joanna and Chris's cat called Whiskey and uh, he's very pleased to be famous now, immortalised in Leisure Painter magazine. This was quite a detailed demo. Then in Leisure Painter summer 2016 I did a proud peacock and I used a nice hot orange background for that. There was a lot of work done on the head and the eye. Then, for September 2016, let's zoom back out. It was a dolphin. And for this one, I masked out the animal and then did the background. When the background was dry, started painting the actual dolphin. Then there was a special supplement in uh, 2017 in the summer. 
and I was asked to do a beginner's introduction to watercolour featuring a crab. So this was the feature and I talked about the materials that the magazine sent me to try out and I talked about doing sketches just to get the feel of your subject first. No matter how rough your initial drawings are, that keys you into your subject and gives you more feeling when you come to do the painting. I also talked about watercolour techniques like thirsty brush and moist brush. Getting on to the crab. He was done in stages starting with those ferocious claws. Showing you wet into wet techniques. And then building the body gradually. I found this crab really enjoyable because he had so many colors in him and lots of different tonal contrasts. If you feel your painting is quite flat, it's probably because you haven't pushed the darks enough and had enough contrast in highlights. And there's the finished crab. Then for April 2017, I did this koi carp. I love koi carp because of the splashy scarlet patches. And I wanted the hot colors of the fish to contrast with the cold colors of the water. So starting off with very pale grey blue washes, building then to the deeper reds and then the dulled reds on top. And finally, the last magazine. For May 2017, I did a lighthouse. New England coast lighthouse. What I enjoyed most about this one was contrasting the man-made shape of the lighthouse with its geometric forms against the fractal shapes, the organic shapes of the clouds and just using an imaginary sky and very simplified rocks in the foreground. And in the demonstration, I take you from masking out the lighthouse and building the skies to then removing the mask and build in detail in the lighthouse. There is another issue, it's December 2018. I haven't received it yet, so uh, I can't show you that one. It's actually in the shops now, it's available from Smith's. W.H. Smith's and most um, supermarkets in the sort of magazine section have got it. But if you want to subscribe to Leisure Painter, this is the link to their website to subscribe. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at those features. Thanks for watching.